Hi guys, it's Lita. So I wanted to do a monthly favorites video for you guys. I did monthly favorite videos back in the past, but usually like I feel like December and January are not like it's there's no need to do monthly favorites because Christmas obviously you've got favorites for that month because it's Christmas and January's kind of like meh anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into my February favorites and I'm going to try and keep doing monthly favorites. We're going to start it back up again because I feel like, well, I like watching monthly favorite videos, so I'm going to put them on my channel. So the first monthly favorite is this charcoal toothpaste by Schmitz. Uh, these are the deodorant people. They like make natural deodorant, which I cannot use, but I can use their activated charcoal toothpaste with Wonder Mint. And this is the kind of charcoal toothpaste that you can use all the time. So like I know there's charcoal toothpaste that you have to use once a week or it'll like fuck your teeth up. And this is an everyday toothpaste. So if you purchase this toothpaste, you don't have to purchase an additional toothpaste to brush your teeth like on the regular. You can just use this. It's a uh, tooth plus mouth paste. I didn't realize it said that. That's kind of weird. I, I don't know. But um, this tasted pretty good. I enjoyed the wonderment flavor and it wasn't like too strong. Like I feel like some toothpastes can burn my mouth a lot. So this one didn't do that. It wasn't actually black if that's what you're looking for. It was a gray color much like the color on this box and I recommend it. I got it at Walmart. I tried to repurchase it and I couldn't find it at my Walmart again so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this toothpaste again but I did like it and for everybody that is wondering this is Schmitz like I Schmitz. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Um, so uh, this toothpaste and I believe their brand is cruelty free and vegan so those are all the markings right there. They've got the Leaping Bunny and the V and this was like recycled cardboard or whatever but I would recommend this if you guys are trying to try a charcoal toothpaste that is an everyday charcoal toothpaste. Next favorite is the Bite Beauty Power Move Cream Matte Lipstick Stick. I think I said that right. It's kind of a mouthful. This is in the shade uh, Acacia Smash. Let me see if I can get it open for you. That is a shade right there. That is a swatch right there. Um, this is a really good matte lipstick. It actually stays like creamy, goes on creamy. It's super easy to apply. I was really impressed with Bite Beauty. This is the first Bite Beauty product that I've tried. And I don't remember if I said this, but I got this out of an influencer box, so I didn't pay for it. I got it for free to try and test out. And I really love it. I would definitely recommend this for anybody that wants matte lipsticks but finds them really drying because this didn't dry my lips out at all. It stayed super creamy the entire day that I wore it and it also stayed on like it stained the cups that I was drinking out of a little bit but to be honest compared to some other matte lipsticks uh, <laughs> the staying power of this was amazing so I would definitely recommend the Bite Beauty Power Move lipstick. Am I saying that right? Power Move Cream Matte Lips Crayon. <laughs> so, yeah, I would recommend this. So, um, for Bite Beauty as a Bite Beauty product, I haven't tried anything else. But if everything that they make is like that, 
And next favorite for February is the Knox palette by Baby Bad Beauty. This is a really good red palette. Like I said, there's a lot of reds. I do have two videos about this palette. I have a swatch video and I also have a get ready, get ready with me using this palette. So if you guys want to check those out, they are on my channel. I may or may not remember to put a card up here. Probably not because I never do. But this is by Baby Bat Beauty and they are a cruelty free and vegan brand so once again if you guys are looking for a vegan makeup that has outstanding reds i would recommend this palette i think they are out sold out currently but just check their website i will leave it down below i'm sure they're going to do a restock because they're doing like pretty good with that palette and a lot of people really like that palette so the next couple favorites are going to be podcasts i consume a lot of podcasts i pretty much listen to podcasts when i sleep when i'm like out in the yard doing stuff or when i am like working out i listen to a podcast just because it's easier to do and there are so many true crime podcasts i absolutely love it so i have another true crime podcast for you guys and the podcast is called morbid you can find them on stitcher i'm sure they're on spotify too i know a lot of people are going over to spotify but it's um two girls that do this podcast and i know a lot of people like my favorite murder but like i find them slightly annoying so if you kind of agree with me on my favorite murder you will probably like morbid i feel like they're super relatable and um, I talked about it on Freaky Girls Live, like, they talk like I talk, and I don't know how else to explain that except for you would have to listen to the podcast, and they just cover, like, pretty much every story that everybody else has done, but they also do, like, listener stories, which are really, really cool, and right now they are doing the West Memphis 3, so those are the Robin Hood murders. If you guys know what that's about uh the documentary paradise loss is what covered that and uh that's a really good documentary too but yeah that's what they're currently covering but i totally binged their whole podcast list and they've got a shit ton of episodes up so yeah definitely check out morbid podcast and you can find them on instagram too and then the next podcast is called The Midnight Library. I found them through Astonishing um, Tale... Astonishing... Now I gotta look it up. Okay, so Astonishing Legends is the one that... The podcast that talked about The Midnight Library and how I found out about it. But um, The Midnight Library is basically like a like narrated tales i don't know i'll just go through like the list of like what they talked about because it's kind of like a history lesson and then a story but there's a story within the story it's kind of weird so the first subject that they covered was the paris catacombs and then they did gargoyles um poppets poison garden of alwick castle and then they talked about runes and then Christmas spirits. So it's like a mixed bag. They delve into history of what they're talking about, but there's also like a story within a story. So you're basically like walking into the midnight library to hear a story. And I think it's really cool. They, it's got a lot of like voice acting in it. So I think that's different from a lot of podcasts where people are just like sitting down and talking about murder and stuff like that this one kind of has like a theatrical feel to it and i really appreciate that so that is the midnight library if that sounds like something you're into definitely check that out i've been trying to do yoga for 30 minutes every single day and it's been working out okay i guess i've, I've been semi-consistent with it and what I'm using to do that with is the app called Downward Dog. I pay six dollars for it but you get to choose your workout and like how long it is and what you do in the workout. I'm currently a beginner and I think I'm going to be there for a little bit because they introduce different moves and just when I think I'm like okay maybe I should move on to intermediate they put a move in and I'm like mm, no better stay at beginner two but uh, I really like it because it forces me to stretch which is something that 
I feel like I need to do but I don't do like day to day and I just feel like it helps me in general as far as like feeling better at least with stretching I don't know <laughs> but I do I try and do it every day so downward dog is the app I'll try and like link that in the description like as far as the play store but yeah you can just google it and it'll come up there's a bunch of different apps for yoga but this is just the one that I picked that had the best amount of reviews and I'm pretty happy with it so and then the next favorite is a YouTube channel they're uh, called medium rare it's this uh, Scottish guy I can't remember his name but the channel is called medium rare and he's been covering a lot of stuff about what's going on with J station and real stream news so but he does a whole bunch of different youtubers so I just found him because of that he's not a big YouTube channel I would say not really but yeah um, if you like watching any of the YouTube drama commentator channels I think you would like this because he's like semi-serious about it and just the stuff that went on with um, the two people that I talked about recently it was interesting to see like his perspective on it especially like the real stream news guy because he's been like covering him and being and like getting in debates with him online and live streams and all that stuff and um, it's actually really crazy so and then I have two music favorites for you guys so the first one is Whitechapel and the album that I have been binging a lot of is The Valley and I think it's kind of like an introspective album it's very unlike their other albums I would say I mean it sounds like Whitechapel but there is a couple songs that I feel like hardcore Whitechapel fans might have been a little eh on and I've never been a hardcore Whitechapel fan but I do really like this album and it made me listen to their back albums before this so yeah if you like Whitechapel and you haven't heard of The Valley or you want to check Whitechapel out I would recommend The Valley it's really good it's a really good album I guess it talks about the lead singers messed up childhood so trigger warning I don't know it, but like I guess a lot of it is like kind of it's it's pretty sad it's it's kind of a sad sounding album but I think it's really good and he has amazing vocals in one of the songs that I can't remember the title to right now and then the next music favorite is Soen and the album that I've listened to the most of is called Lotus and they kind of sound like Tool and Opus mashed together if like Tool and Opus had their heads out of their asses I'm not sure what you guys feel about it but like I have not really liked that much of what Opus has released and um, the Tool that just came out I, I don't know you know for some but something that's been waited and anticipated for for a while now eh, that's all I'm gonna say about that but someone is a match between the two when they knew what they were doing I guess <laughs> so you find that appealing then I would definitely check that band out and I will leave the spelling of it down below but if you don't click on the description because I know a lot of people don't you spell Zoen S-O-E-N just in case you wondered because I know I had trouble trying to find them so yeah those are gonna be my February favorites so let me know if you have any questions about any of the items or podcasts or songs or anything that I mentioned in this video in the description down below. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.